Howdy folks, and yeah, Coffee and Tools, it's Monday, it's a hack day. I uh, bought this originally uh, for the Delta drill press. It's a really nice work table area for a drill press, especially around wood. And this is my like my metal drill press. The Delta was where I do all my wood uh, cutting, drilling, whatever work. So it wouldn't work with the Delta, and we need to modify this somehow so it will work with the Delta. So today I thought, you know what, let's get the Delta out and let's see if we can figure out a way to make this work on the Delta drill press. And I'll show you the problems we're, in, we're into, okay. Hang in there, yeah. So on the back of the uh, drill press of the Delta, and you can see here's where the problem lies, is this crank handle was interfering with any kind of anything I put on here. And in this case, I put a work table on it anyways, out of scrap, but I ended up having to cut all this meat out of here in order for the handle to clear so I could adjust the, the height of, the, of it, you know, up and down. And there was a couple of things I thought about at the time, which was to extend the handle on a rod or something, bring it over here, but then it would be really wobbly and sort of unstable and it might be all over the place. Didn't really care for that idea too much, but thought about it. Uh, the next thought, was to try to figure out a way to clear this handle. So I'm gonna bring the new WEN table that there's on the Craftsman. I'm gonna bring it, take this off, bring that over. We're gonna lay it up and I'm gonna to try to figure out if we can get away from this uh, little handle problem. I, I think we can do it. So I unbolted and took the, the old table off that's been on here for the last well, number of years. Here's the problem. You can see it right here with this. And this is where this handle gets into it. And I'm just thinking if I put some kind of wood here and jack the whole thing up, it should be able to miss the handle, which would give me all the features I want. So what I don't know is how thick that needs to be. So I got this face and you guys so you can see it better. But uh, this is a really nice, I really like this setup. And it's really a shame that this happened, but it does happen. Now that's, ideally that would be great, but uh, you know, yeah, we're up against it. And if I push it forward enough to clear the handle, I've lost almost all the drill. I, I'm back over here. In fact, I'm back over about here with the uh, actual drill. And I want it to be, you know, like that, like, you know, fairly close to this. So what I'm thinking is a block of wood uh, on each side, raise this up and then clamp it and then see what we've got. So just for a test case scenario, I'm going to put a couple of 2x4 blocks under there and just see if that creates enough uh, clearance for this. Now, first thing I'm going to have to do, obviously, is I'm just going to take the uh, clamps and uh, I don't know if we need to take them all the way out or not. Ooh, uh, maybe. Huh, yeah. But uh, just want the clamps out of the way while we work on this plate problem here. That's about, yeah, see it's hitting the handle right now, even as I'm trying to locate the center of this up with where the hole is here to this plate. So that's about where ideally it would be really nice. So, uh, well, it's kind of crazy, but let's uh, see what that, let's see how that works for me. And yeah, I really like this setup. But I really uh, was kind of surprised when I ran into, you know, when I realized we had a problem with that. But let's see if the 2x4 will do it. Now, I'm at the lowest possible setting right now. So there's how much work area I have with the drill press. It should be okay. That's the only other thing I'm, I'm giving up an inch and a half, whatever, maybe. But what we want to do is try this handle. Ah, wow. Okay, the handle just clears nicely. So, inch and a half blocking is what we need to make this work by the looks of it. So after doing a little bit of, uh, I just cut some strips of uh, scrap. Uh, she's mounted, she's on, and this handle back here actually is doing a pretty good job of clearing. And you figure I only gave up an inch and a half, so I'm still in pretty good shape here. I could always use the other drill if I need something you know, taller. Uh, I'm going to take it down underneath so you can look up underneath and you can sort of like see what, you know, what's going on. It's, it's on and it actually was adoptable to it, so hey, 
happy me. Yeah. <laughs> so now that we're down underneath, I cut some, uh, I had a piece of two by four that was actually short this way. And so all I had to do was cut the length of two pieces out of the scrap. And I cut them the same length as the plate I've got here. And then of course I've got the clamps back on, coming off of the metal piece over here. The clamp is tightly grabbing the plate here. So this whole thing is really stiff and well held all, all together. And that was the simplest way, but getting that extra inch and a half was all it took to clear the handle. If you have a drill press and you want to get one of these and you have that problem, well, that might be your answer right there. Just get a couple blocks of wood and uh, that'll do the trick. I've got this thing leaned up on a block of wood, as a matter of fact, so I can get the camera angle, so I get the camera up underneath here, so you could, you know, take a look and see what's going on. Okay, I got you guys over here on an angle right now, so that you can see the, the drill press is uh, back where it's uh, home location, and it's got the new uh, table on it, which I'm really happy with, because I wanted to get this old one out of here. And in uh, fact, uh, before I forget, I'll provide a link in the description below where you can find those. They are a pretty good price. I think they're back for the quality. I'm kind of surprised. They're pretty decent. The old one, in case you get crazy and cheap like I, I've been there, you know, uh, I'll just show you what was going on with the old one. Here's the uh, bottom. And see, what I did was I framed in the, uh, the old cast iron plate of the drill press so that would fit over. Then I took my uh, measurements and scribed lines and everything and drilled holes so I could bolt this thing on countersunk the top with uh, you know screws that would go down in the countersink so they wouldn't interfere with any work going on top but this is just a piece of scrap these this was all made from just scrap and we did it uh, quite a few years ago on the show i believe anyway if you're interested in something like that yes you can you know you can always make one but this was the uh, big headache at the time and apparently if you think outside the box just a little bit uh you can get one of those plates to work on your your delta or if you have a drill press and that's one of the things that's been holding you up, hey, don't have to hold it up anymore, right? So, yeah, and uh, that was it. So, hey, short video, but yes, we've got Thursday, we got uh, new stuff coming in and also uh, tool giveaway th stuff, so that's cool. And I just want to thank everyone again for entering the contest. In the last few weeks, uh, one of our viewers told me he bought a t-shirt, you know, yeah. And uh, thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. And please like, share, subscribe, and maybe ring the notice bell so you know when we're giving the tools away. Every Thursday, we seem to pretty much give something away. So, meantime, this, I hate to say it, but uh, yeah, recycled. It's going to go recycled again. <laughs> it's going to another project. So, and uh, that was it. So, hey, I I'm done and over and out. <laughs>